uh, and if that, that if that um, um, funding is available, um, I, I believe that we can do the job. Uh, there is a very large uh, group of of citizens in Collier County who have known about and worked with Jackson Labs for years. Uh, they have contributed money to Jackson <coughs> Labs. There are people here who will continue to contribute money uh, to, to set up endowments for Jackson Labs here in Collier County. So everything seems to be working perfectly. It's almost serendipity. We've, we've done all the infrastructure stuff, we've created the zoning, we've, we've identified land, and here comes Jackson Labs. It, it just works out really, really very well. But it's not a done deal. deal. There's a lot that has to be done. We have a lot of unanswered questions. And uh, we're going to be trying to deal with those as, as expeditiously as we can. It is entirely likely, if the funding comes from the state, that construction can start this summer. Uh, they expect to bring anywhere from two to four hundred, uh, or create uh, from two to four hundred uh, high-paying jobs here initially, and could be in the thousands later on. And the economic benefit to our community is estimated at about eight hundred million dollars a year by the tenth year of operation. Um, so uh, that, that's that's pretty much the whole thing. The, our challenge is to approach it in a way. That, that demonstrates our commitment to get this job done. The, the last thing the state would want to do is to, to, to commit money to, to somebody and, and then have them say, we don't know if we can do it. Uh, we, we think we can. And, and I believe that the staff um, has the plans that will permit us to get there. And I'm not suggesting it will be easy. But uh, we, we believe that uh, that we can do it, and with that, I'll I'll stop my monologue. And uh, Commissioner Coletta uh, yes. has some observations. First, I'd like to thank uh, Commissioner Coyle here for his leadership in this. He's taken the time to travel to Maine. He's been working quietly behind the scenes for many months now with the EDC, the Chamber of Commerce, and all business entities out there. And for that, sir, I thank you very much. Thank you. I also like to. Uh, express my gratitude uh, to Senator Garrett Richter for getting this thing in front of the Senate and getting some tremendous support. Uh, now, however, with that said, this issue comes before the House of Representatives on Thursday. And we need to make sure how we let our local delegation know how important this is. I'm sure they do by now. But if anyone would care to send a little email to uh, Senator Garrett Richter thanking him for his leadership on this item in the Senate and encouraging our representatives in the House of Representatives to uh, move this item forward expeditiously and get all the support they can to make this happen. This is one of those rare opportunities that you only see a couple of times in your whole life. It is. It is. And, and Commissioner uh, Hallis was next. It, to just to follow up on this, uh, we have uh, Trudy Williams, we have uh, Ruth. <coughs> uh, also, uh, Representative Rivera and uh, Representative Tom Grady uh, that need to be, uh, and pardon? And Matt Hudson. And Matt and Hudson, Hudson. Uh, to make sure that uh, they understand the importance of this. So, <coughs> people out there would uh, write an email in regards to that mm -hmm. so that we can move forward. Uh, one of the questions that I have, uh, and maybe uh, the, somebody from the county, or maybe this is already uh, in the works, and it could be um, that the chair knows more about this. Uh, what are the immediate commitments that uh, would have to be addressed by the county? Yeah, it, it's it's difficult at this point in time to say because we we need to get that legislation passed in Tallahassee, and if we do that, then we'll have a have a target to work with. We'll have. Uh, um, the, the requirements and procedures for matching funds and all that sort of stuff. And, and we can then begin to put these things, uh, um, try to lock them in concrete. We'll have public hearings, I'm sure, about some of this. Um, so, but but I, I would, would add to what Commissioner Hallis said. 
uh, the, it, it's important, I think, to thank these, the, these legislators. Uh, all of our legislators have been involved in helping us do this, and, and it's important that we thank them for their efforts and encourage them to continue their efforts to help us uh, get th this accomplished. Uh, Commissioner Henning. Thank you. Uh, I understand that the local uh, newspaper uh, gave a lot of credit to Senator Richter, but I'm told that uh, Senator Mike Bennett is the one that introduced the bill for the, the funding for Jackson Lab. I, I, is, that, is that true? He, Commissioner, that is my understanding that there was an amendment offered in Ways and Means Committee by Senator Bennett. Okay. Mm -hmm. what, would it be appropriate for the Board of Commissioners to send a thank you to Senator Bennett for... That, that, I don't see anything wrong with that yeah. at all. Uh, I, I think any any legislator who has played a significant role in this should should yep. be be thanked sincerely uh, by us. Uh, and uh, it, but it, it remember then, and we can't say this enough. Although this facility will be located, would be we hope, <laughs> located in Collier County. Um, it is something that benefits the entire state. Sure it does. Yeah, and, and so uh, it's, uh, it's to everyone's uh, interest uh, um, to, to get this thing through. And, and I think the legislators understand that, and they should be thanked. And, 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 you know, our, our local delegation understands that. Yes. I don't think that we need to ask our, our constituents to reach out to our local legislation. They get it. They, they know how important this yeah. is. They don't have to be reminded. But they, they, they might like to be thanked for, for their efforts to get us there. Absolutely. There's nothing wrong with praise. Yeah. That's right. Uh, and Commissioner Hallis. Yeah. Uh, that, I think this is, um, I have a, a very warm feeling on this and hope we can move forward. Uh, to me, this is, uh, this is a lot better to spend money on something like this than to spend something on a, on a baseball stadium. Okay. Commissioner Hall, uh, Fiala, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, I was wondering when uh, our commissioners were up in Tallahassee, was that talk uh, going around at that time? No. Was anything said? No? no. Okay. No. Well, I, I'm, I'm just thrilled. I, and I know that there's no reason why anybody would have a complaint with this. I, I would think that they would have unanimous support throughout the entire county for this great thing to happen. And I want to thank you. For all the work you've done on our behalf. Well, you you authorized me to do it, so I. It, nothing ever happens here without three votes. Okay, <laughs> okay. but I, I appreciate Very your fun. support, and and uh, we we uh, we're going to continue working on this. 